and our job is to get people out of darkness whatever darkness you are feeling whatever dark corner or dark place you are in right now and um, our job as the brethren is to get you out of that darkness and give you hope and know that you know there is a tomorrow coming hope is coming you know um and we shall continue to um live in faith in these trying times and and that's why we continue to do these live feeds just to you know bring life to people speak life to people and hopefully people are going to you know be helped uh, um, and and get out of depressions and 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 find joy i'm hoping that we are imparting joy as we continue to do these live feeds um so thank you guys so much for joining us um as i said today we are joined by one of the most beautiful women that i love and appreciate uh, um she's beautiful on the inside she's beautiful on the outside and her name is susanda jonas uh, she's just a lovely human being and she will be talking to us today um if you are watching or you're gonna watch later outside of south africa just so you know who susanda jonas is she is a news presenter a news anchor and um, for SABC One in South Africa. So yeah, we're so excited to have her this evening and just, you know, we are getting to know the woman behind the screen, you know, the woman she is, because, you know, pe most people know her as, you know, the woman on TV who reads the news, but uh, there's a woman behind that, that, that profession. And today that is what we are, that's who we're talking to. We're talking to the woman behind the screen. So thank you guys for staying on. Um, yes, I'm about to call her now and uh, I've got a few questions for her. I will allow um, questions for you guys. If you want to know anything, I will allow, um, let's say at the end of the session, I will allow um, for you guys to ask. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, let's say we will just um, respond to questions as we go along. We can do that. I'll allow that. So yeah, let me call her in now. Susanda? Hello. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh, I am good. I am good. I'm excited. I'm nervous. Everything all at once. <laughs> excited with you right there i've been you know i've been wanting to do this for a long time I know, I'm so, and I know. you are so beautiful you are so beautiful <laughs> oh my gosh i know i've been i've been wanting to do this you know to call you and you know just to be part of this page part of this motivation page uh for a long time and you know we i know god has allowed it this time so i'm just grateful finally Finally. <laughs> Finally. You know, um, we've been do trying to get this to happen since last year, right? Yeah. And so many things were happening. You know, it was such a tumultuous time. Mm. And um, I did not feel I was in a good emotional space. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm glad that we are finally doing it now. I'm happy. So am I. So am I. <laughs> Sure, the people that are watching are also, uh, you know, excited to be seeing this wonderful woman, you know. Um, yeah, and we're getting to know you now. Not this, not the woman on screen, but the woman that you, <laughs> really are, you know. So, yeah, I'm so excited. Um, but I just want to say thank you, first of all, you know, um, for your heart, for your beautiful heart, you know, for, for your humility above all, you know. You're just a wonderful human being. So I just want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So how about uh, telling us who is the Sisanda behind the screen? Who is Sisanda? I'd love to know your, your background, you know, um, um, I want, I want to explain this to you. The reason I will ask who is Sisanda, uh, you know, people that watch these, um, these motivational sessions that we normally have, you know, some are still trying to develop themselves. I myself, mm -hmm. I'm still trying to develop myself. I'm still trying to find my way. So we have a lot of people who are trying to find their way, you know, and um, we, we would love to know when people have made it, you know, in their journey, in their careers, we'd love to know where they started. We'd love to know, you know, the background so that we also are willing to try and just 
push and just, you know, get where we are dreaming to get to. So yeah, mm-hmm. what is that mm-hmm. up? Well, let me start. Let me start by saying that we are all a work in progress. Um, I don't know if I would describe myself as um, I'm where I want to be. So I'm still growing. I'm still learning. I'm still making mistakes. Um, but where I am, I realize I have a voice and I have a platform, and God put me here. So. Yeah, we all are work in progress. I just wanted to say that, not that people can think that Susanda has made it. No, mm-hmm. <laughs> Susanda is still wow. trying to figure it out as well. Yeah. Um, I was born in Port Elizabeth, Kabeha now. Mm. Um, and and I've, I've, all I've known was Port Elizabeth. You know what I mean? Mm. And uh, I moved out of PE when I was, when I was 25 years old. Um, and I came to Johannesburg. I've been here since. Uh, born, bred, you know, went to school, varsity in Port Elizabeth. Um, and I had a fairly good childhood, fairly good childhood, church going child. <laughs> and I think um, that has shaped my life. That has shaped my life. Uh, I'm grateful that that's what my parents instilled. Mm. Mm. And uh, I, I um, have about five siblings. Yes. And what else? What else about Sasanda <laughs> would you like to know? Um, okay. You've already told us about, you know, about, um, you know, how you grew up in, in a church environment. But I would also love to know um, 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 your first job. Did you love your first job? Who? My first, first job, I was a receptionist for a property development place. Mm. Yes. Um, And that job I am grateful for. As I reflect on my life now, I realize I see the hand of God, right? So it's little things. And sometimes we'll miss those things when we don't take the time to reflect Mm. and understand where God has taken us from. Mm. And the reason why I'm saying that is that job came at a time when I I was done with varsity. I was at home, literally, in order for me to have airtime at the time, my mother would say, do the laundry. Mm. You know, I do the ironing. I'll give you 30 rands for airtime. And that was a lot at the time and I thought, okay, fine, I will do that. So I was in that space. I did not have a job, no prospects whatsoever. And out of nowhere, but by God's design, out of nowhere, somebody comes in, he's selling houses, was just going about our area, trying to find out who wants to sell the houses, but my mom wasn't there. So obviously he couldn't um, talk to me about that. Mm. But then he says to me, but we're looking for somebody to come in and and mend the desk at at the office. I'm like, oh, okay, I can do that. So I went there and I started there. The reason why I'm saying that that job was such a blessing to me, Mm. it's because, you know, on your journey to getting to where you want to be, it's depressing when you're not even doing anything at all. Ah. You know what I mean? It, it's mm. really, it will kill your spirit. Mm. And at a certain point, you'll think nothing will ever happen for you. So mm. it kept me busy. Mm. I managed to take myself to driving school through the money that I made from that place. That was, that was huge for me. And uh, can I share something with you? Yes. <laughs> I failed my test four times. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> I failed four times. And anytime I would fail, I would book again, you know? Mm. But it's because I was working and I had this bit of money that was coming in. Mm. I was able to do that. And um, yeah, so that was my first job. And from there, I went to Mshobo um, mm. as a current affairs producer. Mm. 
And and how was how was your job there? Did you love your job there? I knew it's not what I want. I knew that, but I also knew <laughs> that I have something. I have something. It wasn't the hardest job in the world. Obviously, it was a different um, environment. So I was learning and I was working with good people. Mm. Um, I, I'd like to mention one. And when I got there, she was working at the time and she took me under her wing, wings and um, I worked well with her. Um, she taught me everything that I needed to learn at that time. Mm. So I, 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 didn't have a, I didn't have a problem with it. I didn't hate the job. It was just there. I knew that this is something that I, I, I could do. You know what I mean? And I was doing. Um, yeah. Okay. And um, have you always known that you want to be a, a, um, a news presenter? Did you always yes. strive to be that? Ah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Wow. So I remember, in fact, my mother reminded me of this, that when I was young, I was sitting in front of the TV and I can't remember who was reading. I, I can't remember who was reading. And she says to me, you looked at me, but this is what my mother is telling me. You looked at me and you said, mama, one day you're going to see me there. Wow. I'm going to be doing exactly that. Wow, wow. I know. Wow. <laughs> and I, I, I was young, so I didn't think anything of it, but I just said it. I spoke it, right? I spoke it. Mm. And um, I remember mm. another friend of mine, mm. we were in high school together. Mm. And she says to me, you know, Sisandane, anytime our, our English teacher would ask, who wants to read, you know, uh, for class, you'd always put your hand up to read. Again, I wasn't aware of it. But when you look at your life, you see those bits and pieces of where your life is supposed to be going. You uh, know what I mean? Mm, I yeah. get you. But I've you. always known. Wow. The pieces of the puzzle coming together. And coming together. And coming mm. together. Yeah, mm. I've always known. And um, not only just news reading, but also content production. Mm. I think I've always, I've always uh, been uh, interested in TV production um, and I knew, I knew that that's what I wanted to do with my life. Wow. And, and, and wow, that's amazing. Who was, who was your um, role model when you were growing up, when you were growing up and who is your role model now and why? Okay. Um, I used to watch Abos' Kanye Zomo, Abo Basetane Kumalo. You know what I mean? Like you, you just saw them and you thought, mm, I'd love to do that. Wow. I watched your sister. <laughs> <laughs> and now she's my boss. Wow. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Hey? How about that? <laughs> you know? Um, and I knew, you know, and then you get to work with them. You know what I mean? Um, so I used to watch those kind of ladies, uh, the Carol Bowers, you know what I mean? And I know this is going to sound like everybody says this, but I look up to Oprah Winfrey. Okay. Wow. I think she's just, you know, an inspiration, um, in the sense that everything she does and touches, I see the blueprint of what I am trying to do with my life and the message mm. that I have. You know what I mean? Mm. So I, I look up to her even now. Mm. Um, you know, you know, you just want to say, okay, so what, what is she up to right now? Um, she's always just coming up with new things and you're thinking, oh, that's just brilliant, you know? Um, so yeah, right now, she's still my go-to person. <laughs> Wow. For inspiration. Wow. 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 That's amazing. Yeah, she, she is a force to reckon with. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I, <definitely>. fully, <laughs> I fully get <laughs> you. And, um, you know, as I said in the beginning, one of the greatest, greatest, um, um, if I can say, aspects that stand out about you is your humility. 
Um, wow. I mean, I, I mean, I met you when I met you at my sister's party. You were so welcoming. I was like, wow, this woman, hey, she's so beautiful. You know how beautiful women are, right? You know how they are. God bless <laughs> our soul. But anyway, um, you were so welcome. And I was sitting next to you. I remember taking pictures with you and you were so warm. You're like the warmest person there. And I was like, wow, this woman. So what, I'm interested to know today, what keeps you so grounded? Thank you for one for saying I'm beautiful. Um, if I can share something about that, that's also been a struggle for me. You know, that sometimes you don't think you're beautiful. Wow. You don't see what yeah. other people see. Ooh. You know what I mean? So we go through all of those things as well. Mm. Um, so thank you for that. And mm. what keeps me grounded? Mm. Family keeps me grounded. Your twin. Uh, eh? <laughs> Your twin. You have a twin. Somebody who looks just like you. Your twin. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my heart. That's my best friend. She's my everything. I always tell her, um that you were born for me wow. when mama had you you were born for me she's mm. my greatest supporter she's my everything wow yes so family is important to me and friendship but meaningful friendship people who know how to cover you people who know how to pray with you pray for you um that means a lot to me that um what grounds me, life grounds me as well. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know, things happen to us and you're like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, I get it you. Ground, it, yes, it grounds me as well. Um, after my experience with COVID, I'd say just the simple thing like breathing, mm. you know, health, mm. Mm. I appreciate those things now. Um, I look at life differently. Mm. Um, love. Love. Mm. Not that I've been lucky in that area, but we're not going to go there, right? Mm. <laughs> it's coming, coming. God has that part under control. <laughs> but that, that... Um, especially when it is pure, when it is pure, um, uh, that, that I appreciate that and that keeps me grounded. So yeah. Wow. And, and um, you know, now with, with, with life's ups and downs and, and you've just mentioned COVID, you know, on top of everything and everything else that's, that has been happening during this yeah. season, it's been, I mean, it's been hell for, for all of us in South Africa. Um, so what, what is it that keeps you uh, motivated and, and, you know, just to keep going? Keep going. This has been a strange one because this has been a global phenomenon. It's not just South Africa, everybody. This is something that we have had in, we've, we have in common now as mm. people, as the human species, you know? <laughs> Um, uh, what keeps me going? You know, it's funny because when, co when, when our lockdown started mm. and we couldn't go out, we couldn't connect with people, um, I struggled, mm. if I'm honest, I struggled. Uh, it was tough. I remember a time thinking, I am missing a hug even, oh. like just being just somebody saying, hi, friend, and hugs you. I was missing that because you were not able to go and see, to go and see your friends. You went to work and you came back and you realized you want to just stay at work because you are with people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I struggled mm -hmm. with that. And at a certain point we were, we were asked to work from home. That was hard even. That was hard. And I knew it was for our own benefit because, you know, the more you are secluded, you're by yourself, less chances of you, you know, getting this COVID. Mm. But 
on that personal level, not being able to connect with other people, that was hard for me. Mm. Mm. Um, immediately when we were able to do, to go out. Mm. So this is what keeps me going. I love hiking. Mm. I love hiking. Um, one of the things I'm learning through that journey, hiking is hard, it's not easy. For me, that is, I don't know what other people's experiences are. Mm. The trails that I've done, they've been hard, but the minute you get to the top of the mountain mm. and you just breathe and you look wow. around and you realize I had to fight coming up, but I won. I'm wow. at the top of the mountain, mm. Mm. right? I'm at the top mm. of the mountain. Isn't that life as well? Mm. 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 We are going to go through things. We're going to have to fight through life, things that we can't control, uh, plot twists in our lives. You wanted your life to go a certain way. It's going a different direction. You know what I mean? Mm. but you push mm. you fight you go up that mountain you don't give up yes mm. I fall I don't know how I fell this other time and I my knee was sore for like three weeks you're going to fall but mm. what's expected of you wow. to get up sure. right to get up mm. um so that's what I do and I exercise um actually before my episode with COVID I was I had gone back to gym I do enjoy that a lot um I exercise I I like to learn new things you know what I mean that 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 keeps me going as well I like to learn new things um what else can I share with you? Okay, I, I don't know if I'll have a quick answer for you for that one, but okay. those things keep me going. And also prayer is huge for me. Mm. Prayer is huge for me. Praise and worship is huge for me. God in my life keeps me going. Mm. That is huge for me. Also, um, my dreams keep me going. Mm. Does that make sense? Wow. My dreams keep wow. me going. You know, mm. um, just to know that there's something that's put in my heart. I do believe that when you have a vision, a desire, God put it there. You know, I'm, I'm in a place wow. right now where I'm mm. wrestling to, to where I need to be because I know what I'm called to do. And that has been another thing. Um, mm. I know I said beforehand that when the lockdown started, it was hard for me. But again, it was a beautiful time of isolation and where you connected to God and your purpose and what is it that he's called me to do. So that was yes. such an important, that, that has been an important aspect for my life um, during this period. Mm. That I, I want to highlight and, and, and share with people. And I hope that other people also recognize that for themselves. And sometimes the noise around us will keep us from learning who we are and mm. what we are called Yo. to do. But Yo. during this time, you had mm. a moment with yourself. Who are you without sure. things? Sure. Who are you without material things? Who are you without the friends and people around you? Who are you? You know mm. what I mean? Mm. And that, for me, that's, that's something that I'm coming out with. Sure. From this yeah. Yeah, that's powerful. Who are you without... <laughs> Whew, that is that is amazing I, I still you know what you've just said now I, I have to sit with myself and, and just reflect because it, it what you've said is so powerful Yo. mm -hmm. yeah no um I hear you um and and can you you've mentioned uh you know the, the COVID and and I'd love for you to just share that journey with us you know even the people that are watching um, you know, I find myself in a different or rather difficult position with this because my experience, and I, I shared this on Facebook, on Instagram, 
um, after my quarantine and isolation period that I didn't have a severe case. I really did not. Wow. But I am learning, I, learning to empathize and sympathize with those people. There are people who are struggling with this. Um, and uh, my prayers go out to them right now, their families, people who are watching, sorry, over them. <clears throat> and, um, you know, I, I, I had flu, I thought I had flu, just normal flu. And, and I honestly feel like by the time I went to the doctor, I felt like the flu was breaking as well. Like I was getting over, you know, the, 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 the heart symptoms, but I still had this cough. So I went and I got tested and uh, it came back and it said positive. Hmm. I sat there and I looked at my doctor and I remember her saying to me, can you hear me? Mm. Like, I, do you understand what I just said to you? And I mm. said, I'm, yeah, I just don't understand what you just said to me. Mm. And I, I think it's because for so long I was reporting on it, mm. but it wasn't about me. And now all of a sudden I'm being told that you have this. And sure. I think my biggest anxiety about it was, I don't sure. know what it will come and do. Mm to my body, I, I, I didn't know, you know what I mean? And that scared me. And as I said, it was a mild case for me. Mm. I had a cough, but still I felt like, I don't know if it's going to change. I don't know if it's going to change. Um, I remember your sister, sis, um, Zodwa came through mm. for me. Um, and other people, I don't know if I, if I can mention them, but I will say people came through for me and they connected me to someone, said this person can help you talk to this doctor. And I talked to the doctor. I just found wonderful people around me. Wow. You know what I mean? People ready wow. to help, people checking up on you. And I remember my doctor kept saying to me, stop panicking. I think he understood that that's another thing that people are going to go through when they go through this. And, and I would check my temperature every day. I would check my oxygen levels every day. I mean, I literally had numbers on my wall just so that should something happen, I know who to call when. And I'm trying wow. to think which hospital is the closest if I can't breathe and I need to go to, like all of that was going through my head, sure. you know? And mm. uh, I dealt a lot with um, congestion. Mm. So in my head, I thought, oh my goodness, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Mm. So all of those things went through my mind, but honestly and truthfully, I did not have a severe case, um, but it, does, it didn't stop me from thinking that this thing has invaded my body. What is it going to do to my body? I got a call from one of my mother's friends. She had come out of that period and she, came, she called to reassure me that you are going to come out of it. I'm going to pray for you, but know that you're going to come out of it. Amen. That I appreciate. That Amen. I appreciate a lot. Also, my mother's uh, prayer band. Uh, you know, they are old women, but now they are using technology. So now their prayers are on uh, WhatsApp and all of that. So she would send all of that to me every single day. And just to hear somebody mention you by name when wow. they pray, mm. that meant a lot to me. Mm. That meant a lot to me. Mm. Um, so through this experience, I prayed. But I'm not going to say that I wasn't scared to a point where sometimes I didn't even know what to say to God. Oh. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, and it would be, God, you knew that I would be in this place now. Mm. Please take over, you know? And one thing I tried to do, because another thing that discourages you a lot, it's these announcements and reports on people dying and yeah. people that you know, you are told so-and-so has passed away it really didn't comfort me because again, you are in this 
space that you find yourself in now. And that was scary to me. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I'm thankful for is that my, my doctor gave me sleeping pills and they knocked me out. So at night, I didn't think about it. Oh, I wow. Wow. I slept right through. Mm -hmm. um, I did have a panic attack, though. I think it was day eight. I experienced a panic attack. Um, as I was taking medication, um, there was something else that he, I was supposed to, to take and the pharmacy didn't give me whatever it is that I was supposed to take. So the doctor had to prescribe something else. So now I felt like, okay, maybe I can go out now and go and get this particular thing. Um, going out for the first time. <laughs> It's almost, I almost felt like it was written on my face that oh. she's not well, you know. Oh. I didn't know will people see me? How do I how do I act around people? But this is another thing with this COVID. I did everything that was asked of me. Oh. I, I, I I social distanced, I wore a mask, I sanitized, I washed my hands. And then you suddenly hear that you have it boggles your mind you know what I mean mm. it just boggles your mind so I was scared at the time because I'm thinking am I doing the right thing um I even had to ask for a moment from the pharmacy and uh, pharmacist and I, I went out just to breathe and I mm. sat in the car mm. for quite some time and I came back again and I managed to continue oh. with my day I got what I needed to get but that was that was an interesting episode for me because I've never had something like that you know um so that was that was really interesting for me so um another thing i'm learning now as i said i did everything before so now i find myself over sanitizing if there's such a thing <laughs> if there's such a thing uh, but you just don't know where you'll get it you just don't know where you'll get it so yeah, that has been my experience. I'm grateful that it wasn't severe. Mm. I'm mm. really grateful for that. Mm. Um, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful. God has been good. God has been good. He's been faithful. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, wow. Sure. <laughs> you know, it, uh, it's a scary thing. It's 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 really scary because I mean we we've all just been, you know, taking all the precautions, but uh, you never know. Eh? But thank yeah. God you're okay. Thank God you're okay. Um, I just okay. sorry, and I'm gonna ask more questions. I just want to see uh, if anybody is asking a question or, or no saying problem something, commenting. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Um. Okay, Musa is saying here, I did as well, Sisanda, the lockdown was the divine turnaround and connection with God and uh -huh. finding my purpose. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, that's true, Musa. And um, Nonzuzo is all the way from Texas, eh? she's so far, but she, she joined uh -huh. the street. Yeah, she's saying, uh, Sisanda Jonas is an amazing, powerful, humble, grounded child of God. Wow. And then she says, watching from Texas, USA. Um, and okay, now Musa again says, oh man, Susanda, we bless the Lord for your healing and, and overcoming COVID-19. Um, to God be the glory. Amen. Um, yeah, to God be the glory. Seriously. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, yeah. Um, and then I wanted to just ask another question. Um, we are almost done, actually. It's like 6.45 already. I'm Time so flies, glad okay. this, though. I'm so glad <laughs> this, <though. Time> flies. <laughs> Guys, I can see you watching, but you're not saying anything. Um, please do say hi and tell us where you're watching from. Uh, we'd love to just acknowledge those that are watching. Yeah. Um, Susanna, what another thing that I wanted to know? Oh, you did say because I wanted to ask about the evenings because I know people were like saying, you know, at night that is where they are so fearful 
Um, and you did mention that you, you got sleeping pills. And um, was that not risky by any time, those, you know, taking sleeping pills? It helped me because I, I'm an overthinker. Oh. Um, my, my mind races and I knew I wasn't going to sleep. And you need your rest, okay? Um, for me, it helped me. As I said, I didn't have severe, uh, um, a severe case, so I could do that. Um, I could do that. Um, but it helped me because I knew mm. I wasn't going to sleep. Mm. I was going to think all sorts of things, and I didn't want to be in that mind space. Yeah, because everything yeah. starts in the mind. Ooh. Yeah. Did, tell me something. I, I don't know if you want, you will be comfortable to ask to answer this question. Did, did it ever come to your mind that did you ever think, oh, what if I'm gonna die? Did did did, did that yeah. not cross your mind? Yeah, I was sharing this with a friend who hmm. also just happened to be isolating, and she was telling me that she is having a hard time because she's so scared. Um, and so we talked about this, and I said that you know, came to my mind because, and for me, it was, oh my goodness. So my family is going to have to come here to fetch my body. Ooh. Imagine when you go there, you know, when you go there, <laughs> those are the things you think about. But as I said, it helped me that I was able to sleep throughout the night because then I didn't have to think about those things. Wow. Sure. Mm. And, um, Another question I wanted to ask you. I, I know you you know you, you you said that in the beginning you you know um you're from your roots, you know, you, your mom taught you about God, you know, she gave you that foundation. But I'd love to know who is God to you. Oh God is my everything. Hmm. Um He's my provider. He's my friend. Mm. You know, sometimes we forget who God is in our lives. Um, 2017, my life shifted. My life shifted. I went through a betrayal and a hurt so deep, I cannot even begin to explain how that made me feel you know you wake up every day to show up to work to go and read the news but people don't know that there's a heaviness in your heart you are just this person at this point you don't know whether you are coming or you are going you know i remember i would i would i would sleep crying and then I'd sleep, but you don't know when you sleep, when you, you slept and you'd wake up mm. and you remember, hey, this is where you are. And you mm. start crying again. You know what mm. I mean? So mm. that's where I was. Mm. I remember a moment when at one point I walked into my, my house and I just fell on the floor in a fetal position just to try and hug myself. That's how much pain I was in. You know, mm. in hindsight now, at the time, I didn't think I was ever going to survive that betrayal, that loss, right? But I can tell you now that even that was God's redirection for my life. I see that now, right? So he's my everything. I say this and I mean it. Mm. I, it's simple things that I pray about, but it's because I'm trusting in God with all of my heart and not with my own understanding, right? Mm. And he says he will never leave, nor will he forsake you. Mm. Right? Mm. Um, I remember one of the verses that came to my mind at the time was no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has entered into the mind the things that God has in store for them that love him. Oh God. Who are called mm. according, according to his purpose. Mm. I know 
And another thing that I did for myself at the time, because I couldn't pray. I don't know how other people deal, but I couldn't open my mouth to say, I was in such pain. I was in such pain. And what I did for myself, I downloaded prayers. Wow. I found wow. prayers that were, that talked directly to what I was going through. Wow. And I downloaded prayers in my car. That's the only thing you would hear. Wow. Because I couldn't say it, but somebody else was saying sure. it. Mm. Right? Mm. Mm. I downloaded sermons because I needed that revival. Mm. I needed to be reminded that it's okay. God knows, right? And I'm sharing this with you, Pemi, because I need you to understand that I am fully aware that there's no way I would have made it without him. Yeah. There's no way that I would have made it without him. Mm. He's that big in my life. He's that big in my life. Sure. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You just reminded me of, you know, um, of a verse um, as, you, as you were talking about, you know, about your pain now. Um, that scripture that says, I don't know where it is, but it says he's close to the brokenhearted. Brokenhearted. Oh. And, and, you know, those whose spirit is crushed. Um, I, I know that one so much. I know that one so much. I don't think I've ever been um, close to God like a, a three-year period that I went through in my life. I think that period was so precious and it made uh, 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 me who I mm. am today. Mm. Those three years of hurt, those three years were the time where I was closest to God. So I know what you're saying. I know what exactly, you're saying. exactly what I have gone through, and I know. I, I yeah, we, yes. we we understand each other right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we do. We understand each other, and 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 you're saying something so important and poignant right now, that that time was important for who you are now, and I am in that space mm. because I'm finding my voice. I'm yes. finding my purpose. Yes. And it is such a beautiful place. And this is what I say, one of my quotes, that that loss was my saving grace. That loss was my awakening. Because honestly, I forgot who I was. Mm, 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 mm. I forgot who I was and I'm not even blaming anybody. I'm not even blaming anybody. It's not even about that. Right now it's me and the man upstairs and he's saying to me, I've called you to something. Wow. I've called you sure. to something. And I, I, can I also share this with you? Again, when that happened, I didn't see it. I didn't understand it because it was just happening. But now as you look back, you realize that God needed to pluck me out. He needed wow. me not to look back. Sure. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sure. Because sometimes we will make excuses when we know mm. what we are called to do. Sure. But he sure. needed to take me out of it and make sure that I don't look back. Sure, sure. Mm. 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 Right? Sure. So I, again, I didn't understand it then, but now I get it. Now I get it. God's redirection. Wow. Yeah. Sure. You know, I'm, I'm having goosebumps as you are talking because I'm thinking, um, you know, when we women go through hardship, ne? and when God takes us out, like you were saying, he plucked you out. When he takes you out of something that you, you, you know the truth inside. You know in, inside of you yeah. what you yeah. ought to do. But you, yeah. don't, you, know, you don't take that step to do it. And God, because he's a parent and he's a loving parent, he will snatch you out, yeah. right? I'm and, telling and, you. And, and you, because you don't see the, you know, the future at that time, it hurts like there's no tomorrow. And, and, and you know, I, I understand what you're saying. It, it happened to me as well. Um, and I think um, 
the women that are watching or somebody who might catch this, who might be going through that period now will be so encouraged because, you know, they won't see the lights now. They'll be like, why is this happening to me? Or, you know, um, and I'm glad you, you spoke so openly and, you know, and so authentically about it because mm. I know, I know for a fact that this, this live feed, somebody will catch it and whatever they're going through right now, and they think it's the end of the world. When they hear this, Cassandra, when they mm. hear your testimony, um, it's going to change their life. It's going to give them hope, you know? Mm. And, and this is what this page is about. It's, it's just to motivate people. And I'm so happy mm. and so grateful that you, you know, you are so open about, you know, the woman that you are. This is don't, a- don't we say that your test become your, becomes your testimony, you know? <laughs> and what people don't realize also is that your purpose will be born out of what you go through. It will be born out of what you go yeah. through. Mm. I am fully aware of that right now. It's like, oh my goodness, okay. This is what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Um, mm. And for somebody who's going through something right now oh allow yourself to cry allow yourself to be in the trenches allow yourself to be they don't want to medicate it with other things deal with it Mm. find out what it is that is supposed to come out of you now wow what is it that you're supposed to unlearn Mm. who are you becoming who are you becoming and i know that at first you won't get that so deal with that pain allow yourself to be in that moment it will come can i say to you that if I, when i look at my photos 3 years ago like i could i can see that here eyes tell a lot right you can see the pain in my eyes but right now i'm in the light again i'm no longer in that dark place right and if you you just find yourself in that space right now, you will be okay. I know it doesn't make sense right now, but you will be okay. There is no way that God will leave you alone. He will carry you through. Amen. He will mm. carry you through. Mm. As I said, I couldn't even pray, but I found prayers. So those carried me up until sure. I was able to speak to God myself. Sure. <laughs> right? Sure. Up until I was able to speak to God myself. You mm-hmm. will be okay. If there's anything you're forgetting that we've said tonight, know that God is with you and that you will be okay. Wow. Mm. Amen. Sure. <laughs> sure. Let me just read, Susanna. Yo, what you're saying is, is so powerful. It is so powerful. I, I'm even encouraged right now. Um, let me just read what you know I, I, I know you can't see what they're saying now so i yeah, just want to yeah. read to you yeah um um okay so unene um unene um Tetsi says how great is thou is is thy god what a testimony um Nandu says you're a, you're a, you're a blessing my my soul oh you're blessing my soul with your testimony um, oh, hope and Joanna says, more strength to you, beautiful woman of God. Um, Unol Fefi says, you're such a delight to watch you guys. Um, such, such a connect with God. Thank you for the revival, Sisanda, watching in Thunder Bell Park. Um, and, um, okay, and then Nonzuzu says, Sisanda just gave me chills. And I'm in... I'm in the verge of tears right now. Wow, what a powerful testimony and revelation. Um, and then she says, I totally agree with you, Sisanda. Your purpose is born out of adversity we go through. Um, so yeah, you've touched these women um, um, today with your testimony. And you know, I know that there's a scripture that says, I just can't remember where it is in the Bible, but it talks about, you know, they, they overcame with oh, the yes. word of their testimony, you know? Yes. And, and right now I feel like, I feel like God is here. I feel like, you know, yeah. whatever yeah. we are talking about um, um, right now, you know, um, somebody's life will be touched just 
because you decided to come and you know and open your heart. I mean, it's not an easy thing to 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 be bare no, 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 and talk about your life. But you, because you've done this now, I know that someone, even though you might not hear them saying to you, but somebody will be helped by what you've said because what you've said is, yo, it's amazing. I'm I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. Um, I just want to read uh Uno Mishe, what she says here. Um, okay, you know, she says, Oh, Asanda, we bless the Lord, love you. Um, yeah, thank you. Okay, everybody. So, um, we, yeah, okay, well, we said we're gonna finish at seven, so it's, it's like seven now, but I just want okay. one last thing. Um, do you have anything that you want to say to you know, the people that are watching or people at home that are gonna come across the speed? Because I know some people are gonna watch tomorrow, or the next day, and uh, in the next day. So do you have anything that you want to leave with them now that's coming out of mm -hmm. your heart? And I know you've already mm -hmm. encouraged us so much. Um, anything to leave with them just to, you know. You know, when, when we started this conversation, we talked about us figuring ourselves out and that we are a work in progress. And I just want to share this with everybody. And this, I guess, is the theme for me right now in my life to show up just as I am. Mm. Mm. show up sure. just as you are sure. <laughs> sure i know we want to compare ourselves to other people we feel like we are maybe you're a failure or you're not where you want to be sure. your life is by god's design sure and mm. you know as i said to you we, we we've been trying to do this uh, uh conversation for a very long time and I've been saying, no, I don't want to do it. And I don't want to do it. But as I said, where I am now, I'm trying to show up as I am. I don't know who I'm going to touch just by being myself. One of the things that I'm learning is that as I heal, I heal, I, I give other people that opportunity as well to heal, right? Um, as I share my story, even if it's just one person, You've done your part for the day. You've done your part. You know what I mean? Just be you, all right? Um, also know that everything at its time, it will come to fruition. Mm. At the right time, it will come. Amen. Sure. Right? Um, I mean, when we started again, the conversation is what it was about my news reading. I talked about this when I was young. At a certain point, God made it happen, right? When it is meant to happen, it will happen. Wow, amen. It will happen. Sure. Um, and also surrender to God. Mm. Surrender to God. You need to surrender to God. And one of the things I'm learning right now is we will have our own plans, but God is his own. Yep. <laughs> God is his own. All right. Hence, I'm saying surrender to that because this is much better anyway. Anyway. It will always sure. be better. Mm -hmm. You know, um, maybe I will stop there. <laughs> I, hope, <laughs> I, I hope actually don't want you to stop. <laughs> I hope you had a wonderful time with me. <laughs> I, I did. I'm, I'm so encouraged. Um, Susanda, I will share with you privately. Um, you know, I don't think this is your day. This is your day sharing today. And I don't, I don't want to share about myself really. And, um, but you've said something that I, I've been struggling with as well. But you, you just, you just, you know, God uses people in, in, in mighty yeah. ways. You've yeah. just laid it down here for me now. And, and, and I'm so thankful. And, and I just want to, you know, thank you for, for, for allowing God to use you, for being the voice of God and, and, and you know, for being the, the light of the world and, and allowing to be the salt of the earth. So I'm just grateful right now because I know that someone, someone out there who is dying today because of emotional hurts, I know that god may direct them just to listen to the speed and mm -hmm. and get up and manage to get up of out of whatever they're going through they'll manage yeah. to get up because yeah. of what you've done so i'm so thankful that you 
you know thank you so much for the opportunity thank you <laughs> we love and appreciate you i just want to uh, read if there's anybody else who said something um Oh, okay. No, what's this nom she says, uh, show up just as I am. No, she's just agreeing to what she said. And no, this says we definitely overcome by the by the blood of the lamb and the and the test and the and the word of our testimonies. Yeah. So um yeah, we can close now. I'm so thankful. Can I just can I just pray? I, I love to pray. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 um, yes. can I just pray? I'll just pray for everybody and you as well. Father God, we just want to thank you for your beauty, Lord. You are beautiful. You are a beautiful Father to us. We, we, we want to appreciate that. You know, um, I know that you know people are going through so much um, right now. They are discouraged. And I know that you will direct some to listen to this food because they may need it. And I thank you that, um, you know, you always give us opportunities to, to do your work, you know, to speak your words, to speak your heart. Um, and, and I just want to thank you today for allowing this to happen, Lord. Um, I pray that you bless you, Sasanda I pray that you take her to greater heights, Lord. I pray that she grows deeper and deeper in you, my God. That, um, that she may continue to be grounded in you, Father. That you may cover her, Lord, and, and, and raise her up with her to be whatever you predestined for her to be. And I'm so grateful, you know, that you saved her life from Pilis and Gossipi COVID that took so many lives. Mighty God. And I also just pray for those that are watching right now. I pray that you touch their lives in mighty ways and meet their every need, whatever cries of their hearts they may have, the deepest cries of their hearts. Touch them, God, uh, not because of what we're doing, but because of your name's sake. Touch their lives, mighty God. Be with their families. Be with them. Show your light into their lives. They were surrounded by darkness. I pray that your light uh, 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 shuts down that darkness, mighty God. Your light, that may be happening in their lives, mighty God. And I pray that your grace covers them. I pray that your love covers them. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Sandra. You have a good evening. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Guys, um, thank you for watching this week. I it's such it's such a beautiful day. I mean, I feel like I don't know, this was so beautiful. This this really touched my heart. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Um, um, hope Jonah says, I just love Sasanda. Do you still sing? I know you have a great voice. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, she does have a great voice. Uh, for your guys, he says, M and beautiful program. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you joining this feed. Um, until next time, have a good evening. God bless.